Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K19 My League with the Brooklyn Nets. This is episode 13. Here we are for this March 2nd game against the Miami Heat. We're almost at the end of the season here. We got just a few more games left and it's playoff time. So I think we're gonna be we're gonna try to lock in the number two seed. The Raptors are four and a half games up. We should be a little closer, but we blew it in the last episode. Uh, but here we are. We're gonna be playing the Miami Heat, who are eight and fourteen, so you know, with, I don't know, I don't want to jinx anything, but we should be okay. We do have Brooke Lopez still out, so we have Boban filling it in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the court. Dominant teams. I, I think it's great for the league. Yes. And I think it's a great challenge for those teams who have climbed Mount Everest. We're gonna cut my Brook for the slam, and it looks like he actually was healthy enough to come back last second. And he comes in with a slam. Let's go. Here's Allen and yeah. dunk by Allen. How removed by Jared Allen in the post. Get out of here. Here goes Joe Green with a windmill. Crosses up D weight, gets past everybody for the windmill slam. What a dunk by Gerald Green. And it's Krogic in for Mike Conley to the right side. Another one falls for Brooklyn. You know, I didn't find that's a very good shot on that possession, but still able first shot as a net. And for his NBA career, that's a good shot. Good D. A rebound by Marjanovic. Let's go. Well We're running the fast break. Still, Euro steps. Into the layup. Just what a move by Levert. Okay. Here's Waiters. Oh, what a block by Alan Crabb. Blocking the dunk attempt. A good effort. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, it's got to knock that down. And it goes what a move by Dragic. And they're game. up by eight right now here in the second quarter. And he's bringing it on right now. And it's Mike Conley in for Wayne Ellington. Now, here's Green. Three. Got it. Well, Joe Green with a three coming off the bench. He'd have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Richardson gets a wide open look, and that's good. And wow. With the you know, by 10 with a three by Richardson. Has got three we are playing like game. duty right now, offensively and defensively. That's in. There you go, bro. That's too good in the post for that, man. I thought we forgot about that, but too good. Goes up at the stripe. Good block. I knew that fadeaway was coming, but here we go. Let's go, Nets. Passes to Levert. A minute 50 left now here in the second. Back to Marjanovic. And the shot is There we go. Ball on coming in and finally slowing things down for the Nets. We're able to score only down by three. A lot of two minutes left here in the second quarter. Just trying to get their offense from closer to the hoop and working Kevin themselves to the line here in the so second. playing transition nice D on that? Come on, guys. Really? Just gonna let Ellington shoot that three? Let's go, Gerald. Let's go. Basketball and making the extra pass, making the defense work harder to stop them. Nice offense there. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half with. Wade and Winslow out on the wing. Oh, that's a poster. That's a poster by Jared Allen on James Johnson. Underneath the basket, get out of my face. Brook with a steal. Fast break opportunity, Brook Lopez. Lays it in. That's a fast break. Between Jared Allen and Brook Lopez, that's very uncharacteristic, but that makes the game all tied up at 53. Fires the three. Carbon three for D'Angelo Russell. Ball snapping and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Russell kicks to Lopez. We'll put a deep three. Got it. And that's the first net lead since the first quarter. They're up by one. Here in the third. Dinwiddie. Fast break for three. Got it. Dinwiddie with an open three. And the Nets are up by six. 
Dual step in. Perfect release. That puts Dragic on the floor, and then that's by seven. Comes to crashing the boards. And I'll tell you what, it really lightens the load on your bigs when you've got two rebounders like these guys. Uh, I'll you pass. And how about the incredible timing? Ooh, is that Deion Waiters or something? Waiters gets a wide open uh -oh. look, and again, Miami Did he get the lead back after the three by Waiters? Weapon, he got a 12 2 run. Good push. Passes it to Russell from past the other. D'Angelo Green. Green and that the is a three by D'Angelo Russell. Chubby with a three. Oh, but Bulldog gets his own gets rebound. That's a three again. By D'Angelo Russell. That's back to back threes. Now green, another green. That's another three. But then that's and that's a three point barrage here in the fourth quarter. Phenomenal. Came in. Jug game from another three. From Got it. Field. And he is red hot. Here in the fourth quarter, 19 points, four assists. Let's do a little heat check with uh, Jug Green here. Takes the three. Three. Oh my gosh, he is cooking. Another three. All right, so that's the ball game. Ended up winning by 22. We just kind of blew things open in the fourth quarter. Jug Green got really hot. Made some distance between the Heat, and that was been really it. You know, they said that Brook Lopez was the player of the game, according to 2K, but I honestly think it was Joe Green after he caught fire, hitting his free throws, hitting his threes, attacking the basket. He's definitely a player of the game. Uh, D'Angelo Russell fouled out. I was, like, I was too aggressive on him, so, you know, he wasn't able to contribute to the team, but we were still able to come out with a W. That's a big W for us, especially as a two seed. We're only one game back, or one game in front of the 76ers in the East, so that is something that we really needed, this win. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at the stats here, and let's see. Joe Green with 22 points, three rebounds, six assists. Brook Lopez, 21 points, four rebounds. Two steals, two blocks. Uh, then we did 15 points from the bench. D'Angelo with 13, even though he played very limited minutes. Uh, five assists, four rebounds. Jared Allen with a 12-6 game. Also two blocks. Bobon with a 10-9 game come from the bench. This is what I really need for him. Something simple, something easy. Just get down at the post, get rebounds, play defense. That's all I need. Uh, Lover with 10 points. Uh, Graham with six points. And everybody contributed the way they should be. And we put up 115 points, shooting 56%. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, hitting 13 threes, 12 to 15 from the free throw line. You know, it's all I really want from the team, shooting 80% from the free throw, maybe 85. But we're not really good free throw shooting team, so I'll take it. So let's see what carries on the rest of the schedule. And let's see. Okay, so we have a choice between the Spurs or the Pelicans. I think I'll do the Spurs, I believe. Yeah, I haven't played the Spurs this, this season yet, so I think that's who I will play next game. We'll just sim through here, check if there's anything going on. And Alright, so the next game we'll be playing is against the Spurs. Again, we're uh, in the second. We are in the second seed for the East. It looks the Raptors already clinched their spot in the playoffs. They're uh, 20-3. and three. We're 15-9. and nine. Uh, So we still have some ways to go until we clinch. But we're only a game ahead of uh, the Sixers, so we need to win some games. This is a very tight race here. So one bad week, uh, two lo two losses in a row will definitely set us uh, some ways down. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of my league with the Brooklyn Nets. If you did, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. I'm trying to get at least three to five likes for this video, so click the thumbs up, please. And uh, if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to be basically told whenever we come out with a new video. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.